This week's all-new episode of The Legend of Korra was entitled The Calling, and it finds Tenzin sending out his three children to recover Avatar Korra so she can help with the mounting Kovira crisis. Ah yes, sending small children on dangerous missions to save the world, a time-honored tradition in the Avatar universe, which the three kids actually note themselves, no less. Now, outside Janora, who's had a fair amount of screen time to establish herself as a level-headed and spiritual type, Iki and Milo, well, they've never really had much of a chance to get developed. Milo, if you remember, started the series as a kid who talked about bodily functions and bended farts, a common relief character who worked in small doses, if at all. Here, he continues to talk about bodily functions and, yeah, continues to bend farts. Although, uh, this time around, he's a bit more of a prepubescent jerk to his sisters. Honestly, he came off a little unlikable in this episode. Actually, there's a moment in the episode, too, where he eats some poison purple berries, and I could not help but think that he went full-on Ralph Wiggum. Iki, on the other hand, is served much better, getting over on two dim-witted Earth Empire soldiers. It's clear all these kids inherited something from their grandfather Aang, be it his spirituality, sense of humor, or in Iki's case, his cleverness. Elsewhere, Korra continues her quest for self-discovery, yet again entering another Star Wars-style tree of insight, wherein she relives her most painful memories from the past. Toph eventually says that Korra's problem is that she doesn't know when to stop fighting, and that she could ultimately learn something from all her foes she defeated, and how their biggest problems were how completely and utterly unbalanced they were. The episode ends with everyone being reunited, Korra cured of her metal poison, and everyone heading back to Republic City. The Calling is a cute idea for an episode. I don't think it works as well as it could have, but this late in the series, it is nice to see some of the background characters we've gotten to know get an episode all to themselves. Enjoyable, but not maybe as good as the last three. Seven out of ten.